changer? Am I ready to be a game changer? Am I ready to be a game changer? What is a game changer? A game changer is one who affects a significant shift in the current manner of doing or thinking about something. Are you ready to be a game changer? Steve Harvey said, don't hate the player, change the game. Don't hate the player, change the game. Are you ready to be a game changer? Number two, am I willing to make real change? Real change. George Carlin said, I put a dollar in a change machine and nothing changed. I put a dollar in a change machine and absolutely nothing changed. Are you ready for real change? Serious change. Ooh, the devil is mad right now. Yep. Glory change. Not just going through the motions. Not just expecting things to happen and change. No. In order for you to experience change, you got to change. You hear me? You got to change. What can you do differently? That's a free question. What can I do differently? Can I be like the disciples and say, Lord, is it I? It seems like I'm losing grace in this situation. Lord, is it I? Are you going to be a game changer? And are you willing to make real change? Fred Allen said, the first time I sang in the choir, 200 people changed their religion. That's some of y'all's testimonies. You got many gifts, but singing ain't one of them. <laughs> Amen. God likes it. I may not, but God does. Amen. I may not appreciate it, but you don't need... See, in this transition, you don't need people to appreciate you anymore. You don't need people to celebrate your gifts anymore. See, you may never celebrate me. You may never appreciate me. You may never say thank you to me, but God's grace is sufficient for me. God's grace is sufficient. That's what's going to change in my life. I don't need you to celebrate me. It, it, it hurt my feelings when people didn't say thank you over the past five years. Just, can you just say thank you? I mean, the old man came up and cut sometimes like that. Use your imagination. Dad, just say thank you. My God. But that's what's changed. God's grace is sufficient. Just like we got to know the fact when we're ready to cross the Jordan, the fact is that God will go before you and when you step in, that he will lift the waters. When the priests step in, the fact is that I'm learning transition that God's grace is sufficient. And I'm not going to pay attention to the things that hurt my feelings before. I'm not going to pay no attention. I'm, just not, I'm not going to take my focus off of the harvest. I'm not going to take my focus off of the glory. Because that's what the enemy wants. <laughs> When I'm doing what God called me to do, when I'm singing loudly in my bed, bring chaos to me and bring the thorn to me. If you want to, devil, I'm not going to pay you no attention. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, oh, this light affliction. This is, this is a light affliction. But the glory exceeds this affliction. It's always for a weight, but the weight from the glory is greater than the weight from the pressure. I said that the weight from the glory is greater than the weight from the pressure. Devil, you might as well stop wasting your time because the weight from the glory is greater than the weight from the pressure that you're trying to bring me. Devil, relax with your tactics and your schemes. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. The weight of the glory is greater than the weight from the pressure. Devil, just relax and stop trying to sabotage what God is doing in my life, where God is taking me to in this transition because the glory of the latter house will be greater than the glory of the former. Are you ready to be a game changer? Oh, yes. Are you willing to make real change? And then, as, as Fred Allen said, the first time I sang in the choir, two women people change their religion. Are you prepared for the fact that your transition will cause people to change? Are you prepared for the fact that your transition will cause for people to change? I tell you, expect people to leave you. Expect people to walk out on you. Expect people to not endorse you, but remember, I don't need your endorsement. You didn't endorse me, but I'm in. I'm in the glory. You didn't vote for me, but I'm in. I'm in the glory. You didn't support me, but I'm in. I'm in the glory. Are you prepared for that? And are you strong enough for it? Y'all hear me? <laughs> it's spooky, but who cares? People change. God doesn't. You know, just, just, just stick with that, yo. Just stick with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, they lied on me. Duh. Jesus.
Jesus told you in this life you're going to face all these situations. He's going to take you now to overcome the world. <laughs> all right? So don't be surprised. People are about to change in your life. Friendships are about to change. Amen? But are you prepared for the fact that your transition will cause people to change? And then lastly, uh, what will you take with you?